This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is Physics Homework 25, questions 5 and 6. A jeweler inspects a watch with a diameter of 3.14 centimeters. Well, what is that? A diameter? Oh, that's of the watch itself. So that's really the height of the object for me is 3.14 centimeters. By placing it 8.2 centimeters, placing it, so that is my object placed 8.2 centimeters, so that's the distance for the object is 8.2 centimeters, in front of a concave mirror, concave mirror, so that's one of these, so I'm going to have a concave mirror, so I'll have an F, I'll have a 2F, um, concave mirror uh, of 12.2 centimeter focal length, so that means my focal length is 12.2 centimeters. Since this is a converging mirror, it's going to have a positive focal length. Where will the image of the watch appear? Answer in units of centimeters. So image of the watch, where is going to be the distance to the image. So I'm looking for distance to the image. Now, I know that if I have something that's 8.2 centimeters in front of a concave mirror of 12.2 centimeters, that means that my um, my focal length is 12.2, and this is only at 8.2. So my, my object is inside of F. My watch is going to be inside of F. If I were to draw myself a ray diagram, what I would get out of this is, I'm going to pull out my uh, little protractor and do just a quick sketch. So I'm in parallel, out through F, um, in through 2F, out through 2F. Well, these rays of light are diverging over here. What that means is that they appear to come from back here somewhere. So what I'm going to get when I draw this picture is I'm going to get a larger image upright virtual. So I know that my answer for my image is going to be negative because positive because real images are going to show up at positive distances. Virtual upright images are going to show up at negative distances. So for a mirror where I would expect a real image to show up over here, I'm getting a virtual image over here. So I know it's going to be a negative number. Um, so that's going to help me here. But if I just plug in my, my numbers, I know that 1 over di plus 1 over do equals 1 over f. So I've got 1 over di plus 1 over, for me, do is 8.2, equals 1 over f of 12.2. Um, so now I see that 1 over di equals 1 over 12.2 minus 1 over 8.2. And if I subtract something with a bigger denominator from something with a smaller denominator, 1 12th minus 1 8th, well, this is bigger than that. So I'm going to wind up with a negative number here. I have to inverse that answer to get my di. So from here, I can get di equals, and it's going to wind up being a negative number. What will be the diameter of the image? This isn't like a previous question where I was asking you about f and 2f and the radius and the diameter. Here, the diameter of the image is just the size of the image. So what I'm really looking for is hi. Um, but hi is going to be, a, uh, actually hi is going to be a positive number, so I don't have to worry about flipping it negative positive. Um, but diameter of an image would be positive because that's not saying it's up or down, it's just you know, how big is it in general. Um, so hi is what I'm looking for. Well, now if I know di and I know do, I can get ho, hi if I know ho. So I know that um, negative di over do is equal to hi over ho is equal to the magnification is my equation, but I only need these parts of it. So since I have my di, which is negative, and my do, which is positive, but I have a negative here, so it's negative of a negative, this will end up being negative. Sorry, this will end up being positive, so the negatives will cancel out. I know the height of the object is 3.14. I'm going to end up with a positive height of the image. So plug in your numbers that you've got here, and you'll wind up with a positive HI, and that is how big the watch will be. That's the diameter of the image. So that's number six.